a client of mine was feeling guilty and ashamed of herself. And she said that she was not a good person. That's how we started our conversation. And, and when, I, when I asked her why, she mentioned that she constantly envy others, even blame others, and even wish bad things for others when she sees somebody else uh, succeeding. And that's why she said that she was not a good person. And, uh, and she was feeling guilt. She was feeling uh, shameful for thinking that way. Uh, and that meant that they were not, not a good person or not a sincere or a nice, nice person. Um, and here is what I shared with her. I shared with her that the people, that people who are not good, do not feel guilty about doing something wrong. Why right? the people who are not sincere do not question their sincerity. And the people who are not nice do not think that they are not nice. And I told her that the very fact that you are questioning yourself and your ability or, or worth shows that, that you are not what you are blaming yourself to be. And this was eye-opening for her but she still wanted to understand more. Right? It confused her uh, a little bit. And then we talked about how we think, right? We, we human beings have 50 to 60,000 thoughts in a single day, all of us. And there can be two types of thoughts. There can be active thoughts or there can be passive thoughts, right? And most of the time throughout the day, thoughts are coming in and going through our mind, right? Without we trying to do anything. And they are passive thoughts. But if I think, if I deliberately think a thought, if I deliberately use my mind to think, plan, strategize something, that's an active thought, right? That's my own creation. And when we, when we, when we looked at her scenario, most of her thoughts that she was feeling guilty or ashamed for or blaming herself for were not that she was doing deliberately, but something which was happening. So they were all passive thoughts. Something would happen. She would see somebody's success or somebody's like uh, progress on social media or heard about somebody from their, from their friend and then immediately a thought would come up, right? And that's a passive thought. That's a thought of envy. That's a thought of comparison or even saying that like, why is somebody successful or why am I not successful? So all of these passive thoughts were, were happening for her. Um, and I asked her, right, do you, do you deliberately sit down and wish bad for others? Do you do so? Do you deliberately like sit down and, and envy others? And she said, no, she doesn't do that deliberately. It happens. It happens. It's a passive thought. And passive thoughts are, are like clouds going through the sky. Like there are, there are white clouds, there are dark clouds. They're just going through the sky. They don't care about you. Then they have no uh, say on how good or bad you are. They're just clouds. And every human being, as long as you're alive, have these passive thoughts. I have certainly not met a human being who do not have all kinds of passive thoughts all throughout the day. And these thoughts are produced without our conscious will. Right? At the, at the same time, you can also deliberately choose and produce new thoughts. That's more of active thinking. That is called active thinking. And that is very, very different from having a passive thought, which is not you. The passive thought is not you because you're not consciously doing it. It's, it's happening. That if you are not choosing your thoughts, if you are not deliberately, consciously choosing your thoughts, then you're not to blame for it. Right? There is nothing to be guilty or ashamed about. In fact, you can use your conscious power. You can use your consciousness to create a thought which is deliberate. Rather than getting stuck or beating yourself up for thinking which is just happening, which is not you. Right? And, and the, the reason that I am sharing this story is that this is not just about her. This is about almost everybody as human beings. We all do that. Right? So stop punishing yourself. Accept that this is a part of being human. Right? This thinking and thinking which just goes on and goes on and sometimes takes us into rabbit holes of despair, guilt, blame and self-pity and who knows what. Right? That's part of being human. That's, being, that's called being a human. And simply accept yourself for that, right? Simply accept yourself for thinking rather than blaming. It's, it's just thinking happening. It's not like you are thinking. It's thinking which is happening. And simply accept that that is happening and that has no say 
on how good or bad you are, worthy or unworthy you are, or nice or not nice you are. And in fact, the moment you realize that, the moment you accept that, the moment you stop fighting the passive thoughts, which you cannot anyways fight, the moment you do that, now you can deliberately create thoughts, right? You can deliberately create a thought of being grateful for somebody else. You can deliberately create a thought for, I am happy for your success. You can deliberately create a thought of, let me see, what can I learn from this person? You can deliberately create a thought of, what can I do differently if I want to succeed like that person, right? So we can deliberately create thoughts using our language. If we don't like what we, what we are thinking or what thinking is happening, that's the power of our choice. We are not at the effect of whatever thinking is happening. We can accept it and then we can create. Right? So if you are having a thought that you are not a nice person or if you are having a thought of envy, thing somebody else, you can create a new thought. You can create a new thought and an action which expresses your niceness, which expresses your togetherness rather than envy, which expresses your, your learning desire, right? Which expresses your uh, gratitude, which expresses whatever that you want to express. That's the whole, whole spectrum of uh, human emotions, a whole spectrum of future possibilities that is available for you. So to summarize, right, you do not have to believe your passive thoughts, right? They are not true or wise or anything like that. They're just there. You do not have to do anything with them. Whatever that you're thinking is never the problem. The problem is that you believe that. You believe that is the truth. Right? Let, let the thoughts go just like clouds go through the sky. And if you try to follow a, a cloud, you will twist yourself up all over the place. Right? If you just try to follow a cloud, you will twist yourself up all over the place. And you don't have to do that. right? Just like you can let clouds go, you can let whatever thoughts are coming up come and go. They have nothing to do with you. And it's not you, right? So, and I don't know where these thoughts come from. I think it's, it's part of our history. It's part of our society, our culture, our biology, our evolution, our upbringing, everything. I don't know and I don't care, right? Because it's, it's not me. It's not me and I can choose. I can anyways choose to recreate a thought which, which I want based on my happiness, based on the results that I want and based on what I want to create in the world out there. So let them go, let them go and free yourself from the trap that if you are not a right, nice person, that you are not whatever you think. And anyways, the people who are not nice do not question their niceness. The people who are arrogant don't think that they are arrogant, right? So if you're having that thought that itself is a proof of the other way around, that itself is a proof that you're not a bad person. If you're having a thought which is questioning yourself, that itself is proof that you're not a bad person, that you're not a not nice person or anything like that. So choose, right? This is a matter of choice. Choose what you want to think. Choose what you want to say and wish people well if you have to, right? If you see that you don't wish people well through your passive thoughts, then do that deliberately. Wish people well. Celebrate their achievements. Ask them for their learnings. Learn from them. Take different action and then be proud of yourself for doing that rather than beating yourself up for something which is anyways not in your control, right? So choose differently and you will see not just the results, but the quality of your life will massively go up. This is something not outside of your control. This is something in your choice. Let go of your passive thoughts and choose differently. Choose leadership.